You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Welcome to CNA Heroes. My name is Lisa Sweet, co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants, or NACA. The past year has been so difficult for everyone. Everyone working in healthcare, especially those working in long-term and post-acute healthcare. Those who work with the frail, vulnerable, and elderly have suffered greatly. CNAs have sacrificed so much. They've worked weeks without days off, up to 16 hours a day, sometimes more, without the needed personal protective equipment or PPE that we've heard so much about. And when they do have it, they toil long hours in multiple layers of clothing and PPE, enduring being overheated and exhausted. We here at NACA have heard from so many CNAs who are struggling emotionally because they've lost so many residents. CNAs are exhausted both physically and mentally. Their grief is enormous and they haven't even had the time to process the losses they have suffered. However, many CNAs do see a light at the end of the tunnel. CNAs seem to be more hopeful today than they've been in many months. This is in large part due to the vaccine rollout for both residents and employees. Let me tell you about a couple of special CNAs. Carrie Nastasia and Samantha Salvis volunteered to be the first employees to receive the COVID vaccine administered at the Pond Home in Wrentham, Massachusetts. The Pond Home is a private, interdenominational nonprofit home. Carrie, a CNA for 25 years and with the Pond Home for the past four years, said, we all want to put an end to this virus and this is how to do it. Noting that social media may be undermining the importance of the vaccine. Samantha, an eight year CNA, joined the Pawn Home three years ago. She says the anxiety over the vaccine has definitely been fueled by social media. As far as I'm concerned, the sooner the better if you're able to get a vaccination that can keep you safe, why wouldn't you? So Carrie and Samantha rolled up their sleeves to get their vaccinations. And did I mention they are a mother-daughter CNA team. With staff cheering them on, the mother and daughter took the highly anticipated shot in the arm on January 5th. They received the Pfizer vaccine administered by Walgreens, which Pond Home had partnered with for three vaccination clinics. Carrie stated, it's just the right thing to do. People need to read legitimate reports and educate themselves about this life-saving vaccine and not rely solely on social media, she said, an opinion shared by her daughter, Samantha. Both mother and daughter described the past year as difficult and trying. Constant updated directives and guidance from the Department of Public Health and the Center for Disease Control, the CDC, coupled with daily concern about the well-being of residents and staff, placed the entire Pond Home community on high alert. In addition to Carrie and Samantha, three other Pond Home mother-daughter co-workers were vaccinated on January 5th. So today, we celebrate mother and daughter CNAs Carrie Nastasia and Samantha Salvis for their dedicated work seeking out factual vaccine information and for setting such a great example, volunteering to be the first 
employees to be vaccinated. Your words and actions bring us hope. Today, everyone, please join me in celebrating Carrie, Nastasia, and Samantha Salvis, mother-daughter CNA heroes. Thank you.